I'm working on an airbag today because the last trip my truck had an air leak and um, yeah I had to diagnose it when I got back over here uh, to the shop and, and as it turns out it was one of the airbags leaking air. So the way I diagnosed that was I took a a jug, this is just an old jug I had around, just happened to have a pump on it, put a couple of ounces of uh, soap in it and water and sprayed it on anything. I sprayed it on everything rather. I could hear it leaking air but I didn't know where it was leaking from, if it was from um, the separator valve or the leveler valve or I thought maybe it was one, it might have been one of my uh, brake cans leaking air, I wasn't sure what it was. So I sprayed everything down with soapy water and uh, this is the airbag that's leaking, it's leaking down on the bottom. What happens is the soapy water will foam up underneath there and you can, that's how you diagnose air leaks, soapy water. Yeah, in any event, I've uh, blocked up the frame and uh, drained the air down. All the weight now is sitting on the frame and the airbags are loose. That way, the air bag won't collapse all the way to the bottom and I won't be able to get it out. See? This way, I, I have some room to work with and I'm able to get the air bag out and work on it. If I were doing this in the field, I would have got a couple of brass plugs and plugged the air lines and then aired the truck back up again and the rest of the airbags would have lift, lifted the frame off of the airbag that I had isolated with plugs and I would be able to work on it that way. Um, that particular bag is the one that is connected to the leveler valve there. So what I would have had to have done there had I been doing this in the field is, uh, is put a cup link in between there that way the leveler valve still working for the rest of the bag and then aired the truck back up and it would have aired it up and brought it up off. Uh, that way it, did, it wouldn't collapse and I could work on it that way. Uh, you can do this out in the field. It's not a, a particularly easy job to do in the field, but it can be done. Yeah. It beats paying mechanics prices at a truck stop. Alright, well I guess we better take an airbag. Working in the field, if you don't have access to uh, impact wrenches or things of that nature, you can use uh, wrenches in a fashion like this in order to get more leverage. So like so. And that gives you quite a bit more leverage in breaking loose broken or breaking loose uh, frozen or rusted bolts or nuts. Uh, penetrating oil of course goes a long way to helping with with frozen or seized nuts or bolts. But again like after a little bit of prying I was able to get it, get it out of there. Pry bar, another tool you should carry with you in the truck. But here's where the new one will go when I get a new one tomorrow. You can see this airbag's all dry rotted and stuff. It was due to fail. Um, it's got almost a million miles on it, so I've got my money's worth out of it. They're about a hundred dollars for the bag. If I were to have it replaced at a shop, it's about a, uh, it's easily a $250 repair, maybe $300. So I'm saving a considerable amount of money by doing it myself. Um, I replaced another one not long ago uh, for a different reason. The bottom stud had sheared off and uh, I needed to replace it. Um, I'll replace the other two as a uh, preventative maintenance measure. I'll take this trip out and back once I put this new airbag on and then I'll replace the other two as a preventative maintenance measure. Keep in mind is that the new bag won't come with with this new air fitting so we'll have to remove that before we throw this old one away uh, especially this particular fitting because it ties into uh, both the uh, leveler valve and the rest of the airbags. The other airbags just have a 90 going into them. 
for air. This is the one that controls them all uh, because it's the one that's connected to the leveler valve. When reinstalling the new bag, you get underneath the truck and you put your body weight on it and hold it down with both hands and pull it into place. It will need to be collapsed just a little bit. And as you can see, it's actually easier to get to the air bedding and stuff from under here. Pretty simple, straightforward process, really. And another thing to remember is to keep the hardware, that nuts and washers off the old bag, because, <laughs> off the old bag, uh, yeah, you keep the nuts and the washers off the old bag, uh, because generally they don't, the new ones won't come with them anymore.